each of these two little strips that I've cut actually weigh uh, approximately the same amount. So there'll be the same amount of material stoppering each uh, of the two test tubes that I set up. So stage one is to put a small amount of moisture of water into the bottom of the test tube. Just make sure the end of the drop is not wet. Basically what we can see is that inside both of the test tubes there's a certain amount of condensation which is only to be expected because this is a very vigorous test. Uh, we can see that there's a lot more condensation inside the test tube which is stoppered with the polyester fabric and probably the main reason for that is that the wool fabric has been able to absorb a certain amount of the moisture vapour that's formed initially so it's probably absorbed that and it's holding it within the structure but also there's the opportunity for the wool to allow that moisture vapour that it absorbs on the inside to release it away on the outside and actually transmit the moisture through. So this ability of wool to sort of buffer the microclimate uh, against changes in humidity. There's a particularly an advantage where you've got uh, a wool garment being worn underneath a quite impermeable outer 